Okay, in this video, I'm gonna talk about some on-camera techniques and the best things to do to ensure the best quality. Okay, so the f number one thing when shooting on-camera footage, the, the most important thing is the audio. You wanna make sure you have really clean audio. I always use um, just a little cordless mic, but as long as you find a space that has not a lot of background noise, and uh, you know it's relatively quiet. Usually the the microphone on your smartphone is, is fine, but you don't want to do do it somewhere where it's loud or anything like that. Um, audio really is the most important thing for on camera footage. the uh, The second thing is obvious lighting. You know you want to just find a space. I, I don't I don't recommend a whole lot of gadgets. You know you don't have to worry about external lighting. Just just make sure you have light on your face. You know that's all you need. You want to, you want to keep it as simple as possible usually. So, but uh, just make sure you've got um, soft natural light on your face, and also you don't want it to be too bright to where you have to put wear sun. Like if you're outside, you don't want to have to wear sunglasses. You know, people you you want to you want people to be able to see your eyes. So, you know, um, always find a, a space where. You, know, you don't you don't have to um, you don't have to squint or something like that um, okay so the next most important thing is uh, is composition um, you want composition really is is how how you frame the shot mainly what's what's behind you like this is a really great shot for example for a um, a property video because I'm standing here and you can actually see you know, you can see the kitchen and the living room behind me. So this is a really great way to um, to be on camera when talking about this house because you want to find your background. It needs to be it needs to be relevant, and that's what's called good composition. Um, the next thing I highly recommend is a script. Now you can mem you can memorize it or you can use something like a teleprompter and read it off or you can just have notes like I do but it's really important to know what you're gonna say in the video mainly because you don't want it to be too long you also you don't want to have to do more than one take if you mess up on a take I always recommend just start over and do it again because you don't want to send an editor 20 different takes that he has to cut through um, he's not gonna be able to do it so the, the the video is just not going to be quite as good. So always having a script that really adds to the quality and allows you to get the points across that you really want to get across easily and quickly. Um, the final thing, um, like I said, is speed. You want to try to keep on-camera footage to less than 60 seconds um, just for a whole variety of reasons. Um, the video that we produce for you usually is, is going to be less than 60 seconds, maybe 90 seconds at the most. You know, uh, viewers are very impatient, we, you know, I find. So the whole video needs to be as short as possible. So you need to get everything that you want to get across in your on-camera footage in, sh in the shortest amount of time as possible. Uh, the final thing that I would uh, recommend is, is gear. Um, for example, you know, um, a simple cheap little $5 microphone is a good idea. Um, also, I'm on a tripod right now. It can't hurt to have a tripod simply because it just replaces someone having to hold the camera for you. But, um, you know, you can, get a, you can get the cheapest one possible, you know, 15, 20 bucks, you know, at, at Walmart or, or Target or Best Buy or anything like that. But it just just something to hold the camera. It'll it's something you always ought to have with you in your car or something like that. It really does make uh, make it a lot easier uh, rather than holding holding it yourself. You know you can do it yourself. That's the beauty of it. But um, I find you know your arm gets tired and a lot of times people will shoot lower. You know and it's not as flattering of an angle. Um, so definitely uh, definitely get a tripod. That really will help out. 